many friends can your brain handle? Some neuroscientists uh, recently discovered there may be a link between your, how your brain functions and how many friends you, you can have. So what you're telling me is that Facebook is good for your brain. No. No. Opposite. Actually, that's <laughs> it has some merit to it. Yeah. So as far as this study is concerned, there were two different uh, experiments going on. Mm -hmm. One was with people and one was mo with monkeys. Yes. Uh, I think that's important to differentiate. Yes. It wasn't people and monkeys being well, friends with each other. Although no. that would be a cool study too. <laughs> great. What we're dealing with here. This is great, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, on the on the human side. Well, when you're studying social structures, humans would, for the most part, are self-reporting. Monkeys don't self-report, but we can control the monkeys' social systems better, and that is why it's important. Exactly. Go. So, as far as the human side of the experiment goes, they asked uh, the test subjects questions: How many social interactions did you have last week with you know whom? How many friends do you have or report that you have? And then they they did the brain scan to see the connective. The connectivity between, mm -hmm. you know, the, what do they call it? Mentalization. Mentalization. It's, it's when different parts of your brain um, interact with, other interact parts with of each room. other and it, they attribute certain mental states. Yes, easily measured by looking at the white matter tracts mm -hmm. in between the brain sections, yes. uh, as clearly illustrated by this motion. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, the, and they got results from that, indicating that people with larger social networks had more connectivity in their brain, more mm -hmm. mentalization. However, it was unclear whether or not the connectivity caused more social interacting or the social interactions improved the connectivity. Interesting. So that's why they have the monkey portion of the experiment where they can control the social size groups of the monkeys. Uh -huh. They could either put them in small social networks, just a few monkeys, or many monkeys, and then do those brain scans and you could see that the larger groups, whether or not they wanted to be social, have more of that connectivity. So what was the conclusion? It was The conclusion was that the brain is changing based on your needs. When you are in an environment that demands more social interaction, you develop that connectivity in your brain. So my friendships are not limited by my brain. And but my brain worthless. opens because of my friendships. Yes. Oh, friendship is magic. It is magic. We should all <laughs> make more friends if we want our brains to be better. And by magic, I mean science.